All right, we have to talk about this one now. Purdue fans waking up, wondering if what happened last night was actually real. A hard-fought battle ended up being lost as top-ranked Virginia beat the Boilermakers in the Elite Eight. Sunrise reporter Anna Carrera is here to talk about just this roller coaster of emotions, Anna. Oh, absolutely. The atmosphere there, the, our folks in Louisville actually called it like Mackey Arena South. So many fans for Purdue, but it wasn't enough to push the Boilermakers through to the next weekend of March Madness. Now, Dave and Taylor actually talked with those guys about what they're feeling now. You know, I mean, it obviously stinks. Um, back and forth game. You know, fun game, but, you know, just didn't come out on, on top. You know, no, it's just disappointment, of course, all around. But um, next year when we come back for workouts in the summer, I think everyone's going to be ready. Uh, you know, I already promised everybody we're going to get back here. Um, we're going to get back here. We're getting past it. Just like the Sweet 16 was a barrier for us now, this is, you know, this is the next level. Well, that's what everyone's really hoping for right now. Now we caught up with the game. Uh, we watched the game actually with fans in West Lafayette. They all seem to have a positive feeling about what the next season is going to hold. No, oh, I absolutely love to watch these boilers and love to watch them fight. Fought right to the end and just love to watch it. Even though it's a disappointing end, it was a hell of a season. Disappointing to see the ending or the season ending like this. Of course, that's how. Every team except for one ends their season with a loss, which is really unfortunate. But um, definitely a sad feeling. But so many people we talked with said that they were really optimistic. I know there are also people on the other side of that probably didn't want to talk on camera, too upset, too yeah. frustrated, just about what happened and just that heartbreak of it was so close and mm -hmm. just slips through your fingers like that. Which is so understandable. I mean, down to the seconds, and then you have to all of a sudden process what just happened for all of us that want to hear from you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Absolutely. And you can't be upset about how they played either. No. I mean, that's the most disappointing thing. They yes. were so good. I was on fire. I mean, Carson Edwards, are you kidding me? <laughs> Speaking of that, let's go real quick. We were just wondering if, you know, what was being tweeted about. So yeah. Victor Oladipo gave some love to the Boilermakers, and he yes. said, watching this Purdue. Virginia game and this dude Carson Edwards can <laughs> flat out boogie my goodness right respect from the IU guy <laughs> See? Yes. so we're go. all coming together for the Indiana team but next year next year yes so yeah. we're all hoping we're for. all hoping for all right